Hello, welcome back to our channel. I am all alone. It's actually a weekday. This weekend, I was super busy doing all sorts of spring cleaning, deep cleaning, getting rid of one to the corn, all that good stuff. So today, after spending all weekend working my tushy off to get the house ready for spring, I am going to be decorating for spring. This is the fun part. I like to basically what I call refresh my home every six months. So typically in the beginning of the fall and in the beginning of the spring is when I do my home refresh and do some like redecorating here and there, but also doing it on a budget, like not complete room makeovers, but trying to really refresh the home and make it feel new again. Apologize for the stuffiness going on. I am actually suffering from spring allergies. I like to take all of my decor and see what do I have to work with from all different rooms. And one of the things that I really enjoy doing is reusing the decor that I already have in the house, but in different ways, using it in different rooms and doing different things with the decor that I already own. So this is my little collection of items that I have right now. One of the things that I really like to do is I like to refresh my throw pillows. And sometimes the throw pillows, the actual pillow is perfectly fine. It's just a cover I'd like to change. And so that's a very affordable way to be able to change up your throw pillows without having to spend too, too much money. So these are actually all from Amazon. These are really large ones that I plan on using in my bedroom. And then let me open these up for you guys. One sec. So these are the other ones that I purchased. This is a linen one and it feels so nice, so soft. I really love the quality of this. These are for the boys room. And so um, these are also like really, really soft and just add like some texture to their bedroom. In addition to that, I just found this little bunny. I don't go too crazy for Easter decor. I just like to add small little touches, maybe a bunny here and or there. This carrot garland is actually new. I purchased from Target and I plan on using this in the baby's crib. I like to always put like a little fun garland on his crib and then I think I know what I want to do with this but not a hundred percent but I just thought it was really really cute and it matches so nicely with the garland. Also purchased this from Amazon tulips. These full tulips look really nice. Um, some greenery that I found in my spring box. I'm going to be reusing this base again that I actually use in my dining room. And then I don't think I'm gonna keep this greenery here. I'll have to kind of see how I play around with it, but I have some greenery there as well. And then some greenery that I just put up there. In addition, I had already also purchased brand new sheets and comforter sets and bedding. I feel like that alone makes the bedrooms feel so fresh and new. And so that, is already done and and on their beds i just have to add uh the throw pillows to the bed so now i just have to make a list of the things that i actually need to go and purchase oh yes make a quote so i am heading to the store <clears throat> stay tuned are killing me and I'm exhausted but let's get to it <laughs> when I did the store pickup I have no idea what these items look like in real life you guys are gonna see me open up these items and get my reaction for the first time what I got at Target first things first I got this extended length table runner 
but I really love the texture of that and I think it'll be perfect for spring and summer. Um, hopefully the length works. And then I got this vase. I thought it was going to be, there's like a small, medium, large. This was the smaller one and this one was $10 and I thought it was going to be a little bigger, just a little bit bigger than this, but it is cute and we might still be able to use it. Also got this, which actually I thought this was going to be smaller. <laughs> so this is actually really big. Um, so let's see if I can use this because I have no idea, but it is cute though. This is the hard part about doing online pickup. It's not knowing like the true sizes of things because I really thought this was going to be much larger and I thought this was going to be much smaller. So in addition, I got a couple of things at the Dollar Tree. Don't mind my work mess back there, my little office. Um, but I got some of this moss. I really wanted green moss, but they didn't have any green moss. So I figured this could still work. And I'm going to be putting this stuff inside of that bowl. And then I also purchased some faux eggs. does well in regards to cleaning but i think the rug is so pretty and i'm gonna show it to you guys from like far and i just love it i really really like this rug and i think it's a perfect size the rug that i had in here before was just way too large and it was just i think it was too too big so this is a really good size and then this here is just nice and simple i don't know if i showed you guys this but i actually found these at the dollar tree it's a little pack and they still these are the smaller ones they had like medium sized ones and then really large ones in case anyone's interested in doing a little like arts and crafts project with that which actually it looks very similar to what i purchased that i showed you guys earlier at target and this little bunny i already had i just added a little candle to that and just really nice and simple so that's it for the living room i had to move it again i mean not that all of this will end up not end up on the floor <laughs> within the next five minutes because that's just how my kids are but just changed it up again and yeah i like the simplicity of it this runner it was way too long as expected so i'm actually just gonna pin it under the table and i'm just leaving this nice and simple with the dry flowers so now i'm working on this bowl that's sitting here in my dining room let me put you guys down let me see there you go i was going to try to like do a project with the eggs but i think at least for now i might just place i'm gonna see what it looks like if i just place the eggs without the project basically what i want to create is a bit of like a bird nest type of look so i'm taking the moss and just spreading it on here i'm just going to take these dollar tree eggs and put them in there again i was going to do a little project like a little concrete project with them i think for now i might just put them in and then if i decide to like if i decide i don't really like them later on i might just you know change it up and maybe paint them white I think maybe if I paint them white, part of the problem is, is that I thought I had a paintbrush here and I don't. <laughs> Apparently the kids ruined all the paintbrushes. So if I feel like I want to change it later on, then I'll just maybe paint them white, do some type of concrete look. This is the final product. And maybe if I put it this way. I actually do like it. I do feel like I'm going to want to paint the eggs though. Honestly, I am not feeling good. My allergies are really acting up after being out. 
for the past couple of hours and uh, decorating is really like a creative outlet for me and something that I really enjoy and so I don't want to decorate while I'm feeling so crappy. Part of me just kind of wants to wait until tomorrow morning so. Morning, I'm back feeling so much better, really much better today. So let's get back to decorating. So I didn't get to show you guys the living room during the daytime yesterday, but this is just what it looks like during the nighttime. And I am loving the rug even more today than I was yesterday. Again, I'm not sure how it cleans, so I'll see afterwards. But um, this part right here, there's like this, I don't know, some type of fabric. So it's good because I was afraid that it was the same material on this side too, but it's not. This is just the living room during the day and then like a little Instagram versus reality for you. Yep. And then over here, don't mind my little workspace right now. I did add a little bit of a, like a little branch there just because I did feel like it looked a little too empty. So now I'm just gonna work on this little centerpiece area. I kind of started to, it's not gonna stay like that. I'm gonna change it up. But these are the tulips from Amazon. Look how pretty they are. And these are, they feel like pretty realistic, honestly. I love the quality of it. So I'll fix that up. That is not staying there. <laughs> and then I wanted to show you guys what wreath I showed you guys yesterday. And I thought it would look really cute set up here where, where like my stove area is. But I realized that I don't have a, I need a command hook to be able to put it there. But just like picture it, you know, right there. I think it'll look really cute. Like this. I'm just going to pull them out little by little and kind of bend. They just look a little more realistic when they're not all facing the same exact direction. So that is my goal with that. Give me one sec. This looks so much better. I basically pulled them out, bent them in different directions and it looks so much better. So I might put a candle here. Just got back from picking up all the crazies and now have a loud home that's okay we're gonna finish up today we are finishing up the crib is all set now as well and this is the garland i was telling you guys about i always like to put a fun little garland on his crib i've done it for like years so that's pretty much it uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching along and don't forget to like and subscribe. I probably need to go take a nap. See you guys next time. Bye.